Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey Adam G, kamusta na kayo? As you all know, pageant season is already in full swing with our much-awaited beloved pageant Miss Universe happening just right around the corner. Would you believe? With less than four weeks away before the pageant night, our very own Miss Universe Philippines Bea Luigi Gomez has been getting visible with her outings and trainings lately. Napansin nyo? And ramdam mo na nga talagang malapit na malapit na talaga Miss Universe. And as I talk to you right now, she is still in Cebu for her homecoming festivities. And what's making me more excited right now is the looks and styling she and her team has been showcasing to us lately. And so far, she has been impressing us with her looks and wardrobe. And for today, let's, mo let's explore about it more as she gets ready for the upcoming Miss Universe pageant. So, let's talk more about it for today's content so you better stick around for my thoughts and insights. So who here has just finished reading Bea's article in the latest issue of Mega Magazine wherein we read how Bea has been thinking and preparing for her upcoming pageant. To be honest guys, this is the reason why I am so excited in doing this content as I am really excited by what she said there that she will be wearing that's that she will be wearing something different than her usual fashion statement. So to lang nung nabasa ko yon, the pageant fan in me really got excited as Bea is making us so excited as to what she will be wearing come December in Iliad Israel. Cause we all know naman that Bea is a professional model, and so I think she could pull off anything that will be asked or given to her. Cause let's face it, guys, aminin yon we hit the jackpot with Bea in terms of body and height. She is 5 feet 10 inches tall, has strong shoulders and tiny waist, and her arms, aminin nyo, are long and toned. So we really have a great canvas here. And so I asked myself how she will be transformed for Miss Universe. And if you ask me, I don't want a transformation in the sense na she will really look completely different from the girl that was crowned last September 30. I hope we learn from this already from our previous ex experience na instead what I want from Bea is a men metamorphosis na an elevated of herself who will retain her essence and when I talk about retaining her essence and you know elevating her look for the upcoming pageant I don't mean that I don't want her to look sexy na vava voom latina na card mala kardashian ang styling niya. So we want from her is that her background and backstory will still be reflected in the articles of clothing that will she will showcase. Now it doesn't have to be literal in the sense na fatigue clothing siya because of her military background or a flag because of her LGBTQ background. But it's more of conveying that message of a strong and empowered woman once she sets foot in Israel. Because let's face it guys, once she arrives there, hahanapin talaga siya ng mga tao because apart from the fact that she is Miss Philippines who has a strong stash factor in Miss Universe, people would still really look for her in terms of photo ops and sponsor shoots. So she really has to look the part. So what I am thinking right now, number one, she should wear a la Cara Delevingne's type of outfits. Yup. That's what I'm thinking right now, is for her to be styled like Cara Delevingne or the other IT girls who are rock chick, slightly disheveled but sophisticated. When I say slightly disheveled, hindi yung kulot na kulot yung buhok ha. And similar to Cara, what I want Bea is to be able to wear slinky evening gown dresses, partly mini dresses or, or, or oversized suits without losing her essence or aesthetic. And I want Bea to do the same thing so she won't be lost in translation because the way I see Bea right now is she is the epitome of a modern Filipina, unapologetic of who she is and speaks and acts her truth. And sayang naman kung hindi natin to makikita kay Bea doon sa Israel. So bottom line guys, I want the cool girl Bea to shine in Israel, win or lose. Because I know she will really make us proud regardless of her placement. Sometimes kasi guys, aaminin ko sa inyo, kapag lumilihis si Bea sa ganitong styling niya, 
no, may tendency na wawala yung magic niya. There are occasions where she is seen wearing certain pieces of clothing that I feel are not a reflection of her personal style. So, here are a few trends as well na feeling ko pabagay kay Bea. Like, if she has tattoo, don't hide it, but let her accentuate it, diba? Highlight her expressive almond-shaped eyes, diba? As well, to complement her look. And ang ganda-ganda rin ng figure din niya. So, let's try to showcase it, diba? And here are some more trends I hope Bea could follow to highlight her assets even more. So, number two trend, wear dramatic draping trend. I have always been into clean lines, modern dressing, and simple silhouettes. And the dramatic draping in Bea Luigi's tall and lift frame would be so sensual and at the same time not overtly feminine. The colors in vivid shades of blues, purples, and yellows would really make Bea's skin stand out in my opinion. Isipin nyo si Bea in multiple Martin Bautista, Martin Bautista numbers. That would really be to die for, diba? Next trend, I hope Bea wears sexy cut-out dresses. I feel black is bold and we rarely see our girls wear this color at Miss Universe. So having cut-outs at all the right places and shorter hemlines, skin strategically exposed would be so sexy on our own Bea. Because let's face it, we have seen this kind of trend over the spring runways last September, this past September, and I must say, Less, this less is more look takes a new definition that's unapologetic and all about being body positive. Which, I mean, in your suits Bea's body aesthetic, right? And I'm pretty sure amazing Filipino designers could have sexier interpretations that Bea could rock on on the evening events of Miss Universe. Next trend, wear low waist hemlines. Let's face it guys, low rise skirts and jeans are the latest trend to come back with everyone into Y2K fashion as we have seen girls like Kendall Jenner and Swing Dupa Ba, Belia Hadid remind us why it was so popular back then and I'm pretty sure it is going to go back soon. So why not have our own girl Bea sport this kind of look and show off her abs, diba? We, argue, we arguably have the coolest girl in Miss Universe history and I say she should look the part. Next trend that I think will work best for Bea. Animal prints. I've seen girls at Miss Universe rock bold prints lately and florals I feel might not make Bea's a standout after all as tiger, leopard, and zebra prints have been taking a momentum in the runways of Milan such as Roberta Cavalli and Dolce and & Gabbana. Don't you think this print would perfectly showcase Bea Luigi's arm tattoo? It's timeless, forever chic, and would make heads turn. I would really love Bea to sport an animal print frock come prelims interview. She would really look like a goddess if that happens in my opinion. Next, I hope Bea will be playful in neutrals. Cause I feel every pageant girl has stuck with the anti-neutral color palette in her wardrobe at Miss Universe. Opting for bubblegum pink, tangerine, ano pa ba? lime, or teal to get noticed. So sticking to neutrals but playing with cuts and fabrics can make our representatives shine in the most unexpected way. I really feel the Janela Quaton and Steffi Abera story approach at Miss Universe Philippines before really struck a chord and I would like Bea Luigi to try this trend out as well. White, creams, nudes, and camel tones cleanse the palette and would look so good on Bea's caramel skin. Don't you think? Next, we go to Bea's hairstyles. Our girl Bea looks so divine in her straight mid part, diba? I mean, ninyo, long locks that she has sported in multiple activities in Miss Universe Philippines before. I believe that her sleek style when it comes to her hair has this very effortless approach and I would like for her to explore more on this hairstyle. I mean, Belia Hadid is the perfect style icon for her hair as this fashionista is seen looking red carpet fabulous in multiple rein reincarnations of this look. And sometimes, it's sleek back with a glossy finish, smooth and straight with a lot of thickness or in a pulled back mid part bun. I can't wait to see how Bea will look amazing there. And I'm glad that she wore this kind of hairstyle for her public appearance in Cebu tonight. Don't you love how a high pony makes Bea so high fashion and even more beautiful? 
And now let's go to Bea's makeup styling. I hope she sports more Golden Goddess makeup. I feel Bea Luigi has amazing bone structure with her very expressive eyes, high cheekbones, clear skin, and full brows. Na swerte tayo na we don't need any more surgical enhancements for her to be beautiful. And having said this, Bea has been sporting show-stopping smoky eyes in the recent pageant which I believe is her best look. So what does she have to do at Miss Universe if you ask me? Well, I want her to look like a golden goddess still but make her eyes more feline in shape so i want i would like her to stick with neutral eyeshadows but experiment here and there with dark greens and rust colors too and as for her lipstick she could still use her nude lipstick as it's always a classic but deep corals and rose colored hues would look great against her complexion and lastly let's now go to her national costume I thought this is just a, a bonus part for this content. Since I am into this content already, I might as well give out my suggestions for Bea's national costume. I know our country is slowly opening to the idea of a modern national costume which reflects our pop culture and I am thinking of several pegs or inspiration for this. For one, I am thinking of a modern or contemporary costume that is very reflective of the time that we are living in right now. Like let's say similar to what Miss Universe Philippines 2020 candidate from Pasay City, Sandra Nicole Santa Maria wore during the national segment of the competition last year. Natatandaan niyo pa yon. And I want Bea to wear something like that, very similar to what Sandra wore na parang it's like an ode to the Filipino frontliners who play a critical role in our COVID-19 response during the pandemic and I would love for Bea to pay tribute to our frontliners. If this happens, our whole country will watch and it will only go to show how united we are in supporting our current unsung heroes like our nurses, doctors, and med techs, di ba? Kasi aminin nyo naman guys, typical na sa atin yung mga sari manok, Filipiniana, or terno costumes. And, we fee and I feel we are left wanting for more creative ideas of this segment of the competition, di ba? Or if not, I'm thinking why not a perlas ng silanganan inspired national costume for a change. It's like kung... If you will see this the illustration, it's like Bea coming out of her shell na may clam na ang peg ay birth of Venus, di ba? While studded in pearls. Di ba ang bongga? Di ba? She is parang, it's as if she is representing us but in a fashion way. And I think with this kind of costume, it's not going to be heavy so she can still walk and work the hell out of it on stage. Or, sige, kung ayaw nyo ng ganung costume, I'm thinking of something fun and quirky for a change. Like, why not a Balut-inspired national costume? If Bea dons this kind of costume, it will be so unorthodox as the Balut concept has never been done before. And, I mean, nyo, it is really reflective of our pop culture. Kasi foreigners always gets us whenever they come here to our country kung nakakain na sila ng ganun. And knowing how Bea looks so smashing in her beautiful sea monster inspired national costume for MUP last time, I think thinking out of the box for her national costume will really give her the extra mileage for the forthcoming competition. So there you go guys! What do you think about my list of styling suggestions for Bea? Did everything I mentioned could work for her in Miss Universe very very soon? So totoo lang guys, I really want her to be a standout as soon as she arrives in Israel. And let's face it, we've all been thirsty for a top 5 placement since we have been languishing in top 20 for the past 2 years now. And in order for her to reach top 5, I feel she really has to look sensational in the looks department, diba? Ito lang naman ang mga suggestions ko. These are all just my suggestions as my mind is really getting fat and creative in showcasing something different for her wardrobe soon. So coming out with this content is an additional input to her styling team for more creative input or ideas for her upcoming journey. Just like you, I really want Bea to succeed talaga in Miss Universe. So... Let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below if we are on the same page about Bea right now. Okay, abangan ko yan. Alright guys, see you on my next video. Bye!